Welcome to the MPL Goal Show, the show where we bring you all the action from across the Northern Premier League. Six games took place over the weekend, with many teams involved in the third qualifying round of this season's FA Cup. Up first, we head to Croft Park, where David Stockdale's Blythe Spartans took on Baseford United. Commentary for this one comes from the home side. Put on a few winners, that is. Corner going in. Just beat the head. And it is in. It's 1 0 to Baseford. And a scrappy goal there. It's from Blythe over, not the creative ability to fashion a chance from it. <laughs> so it's like it. <laughs> 1.7 milliards. Chance here for Chambers. And it's a sec- second goal for Chambers. And then there's 2 0 to the visitors. A good win for Baseford there. And another side looking to join them on 16 points were Hyde United, who took on FC United of Manchester. FC United boss Mark Beasley was in the dugout for the first time and it took just six minutes for his side to take the lead through Jordan Buckley. Buckley previously worked under Beasley at Warrington Town and on the basis of this it could be a successful partnership once again. Straight from kickoff, Hyde pulled one back through Matt Fernley, his dipping long range effort finding a way through. FC United had failed to win since the opening day of the season, but Jordan Buckley set them on their way before half time with this excellent finish to complete his hat trick. Hyde's top scorer Jack Redshaw pulled one back with 13 to play, but it wasn't enough for the Tigers as they missed out on the chance to climb into the playoff spots. On to the new manor ground as the Battle of the Robins saw Ilkston Town host Ashton United. Ilkston boasts the division's top scorer in Tom Kersons and it didn't take long for him to open his account with this, his tenth of the season. The home side doubled their advantage before half time, Tom Marshall with this towering back post header. Ashton were beaten 3 0 in their last game by Prescott Cables, and Jason Gilchrist capitalised on a mix up between goalkeeper and defender to give the visitors a lifeline heading into the break. The travelling Robins have started the season well, and they completed the comeback with an equaliser 20 minutes from time. The initial header struck the post, and Darius Asai was on hand to tap the ball home on the rebound. Honours even in this one, with both teams remaining in the top six. The final goals of this weekend's roundup come from Prescott Cables, who hosted another of the newly promoted sides in League Town. Prescott have taken three wins and a draw from their last five, and this piece of individual brilliance from Francis Smith saw them hit the front once again. It took until the final 15 minutes for Cables to wrap up the win here, substitute John Murphy finishing from the tightest of angles. Cables are up into the top half, Leak remain in the bottom four.